I think the biggest misconception that people may have is that you can only find good artwork in big cities. You know, like, oh, well, I bought this in San Antonio. Oh, I picked this piece up in Dallas. Oh, I picked up this piece. Where, you know, you have good artists anywhere. I want to grow. I love wildlife. I love the fish and stuff. Because I, I love when I catch a fish and you bring them on the boat and you see all those colors. They're so beautiful. I mean, trout, trout have all kinds of colors. They got purple, they got greens, they got blues, they got beautiful colors. You know, redfish can just be solid gold. And you, you know, you say to yourself, man, can I capture that right there to make them look just like that? Showing people to look at wildlife, to look at a cactus in relation to a deer next to it. To look at a, a, an old dried mesquite tree and how well, how well they uh, they go together. They harmonize the colors, the textures, the, 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 the just the scene that you captured right there. When you rely on your artwork to make a living. I mean, you find that there there is a lot of competition and there's a lot of people that have been painting for a long time and have a name already for themselves. And uh, if you want to be a good painter, not just a Sunday painter, which I'm not, um, you want to compete with those people. Offer something either different or just as good because you're making a living off of it and you gotta pay bills. I'm my worst critic. If something doesn't turn out to my likings, you know, it's, it's either gonna start over or it's not gonna go. You know, because I, I think that um, a painting should sell itself. You don't have to convince somebody to buy it. When somebody sees it, it says, oh man, I like that. That would look good in my den, in my condo or whatever. If you depend on it, you have to try hard, paint as best you can, uh, and uh, have people accept your work and be willing to pay for it. After I retired, well, then I got all the time in the world to do this now, and I do it every day. I mean, I, I can't go on without painting, and especially if I have something that I like that's turning out good. I can't wait to run in here or I'll, I'll lay in bed and I'll think of what I need to do. What should I do? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I, there's been cases where I got up out of bed, come in here, turn the lights on, turn the radio on. But, uh, there's times, a lot, quite often actually, where you do a painting and it's special. You don't want to sell it. I mean, it becomes like a part of you. You know, there's paintings that I have that are stored away that I don't want to sell because I have so much in them and uh, I spend so much time and it sounds cliche, you know, but it's true. I mean, you don't know unless you're into this business where you paint something and you like it and then when you sell it, you're like, well, yeah, I got so much for it. That money will be gone in a week, two weeks or whatever and the painting is gone forever too. Three things the world needs to know about Raul Andrade. First of all, that I love to paint. And I'll paint till I die, till I can't see. Um, I love nature. I, I, I admire nature, I appreciate nature. I appreciate the bark on a tree, you know, just as well as I appreciate a, a, a beautiful flower, a sky, and that, you know, I love my family, my kids. Basically, you know, the old cliche, hard work pays off. And to me, it would be very satisfying, you know, to know that there's a lot of my work after I'm gone, you know, that people can enjoy. Or can say, well, yeah, I, you know, I bought this from this guy, or I knew this man, you know, back such a, such a time when he painted. and. You know, just the fact that you enjoy doing what you do. It's not going to be, I knew this man. It's going to be, 
this is a Raul Andrade. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Carlos, what do you think of your dad's profession? Um, it's one of the best. Best, uh, best in the valley. Probably, mm -hmm. if you were to compete, probably be best in the world. Mm -hmm. Could be up to that level. Does he spend too much time painting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm always over there, basically. Says, I'm always over there. He only he comes wants. over here to watch the news or to go to the restaurant. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Or to, or to eat. Or to eat. <laughs> Food yeah. or news. That's yeah. <laughs> It's just uh, such a special thing to have Raul Andrade, such a talented artist working for us. Um, his ability to go out there and see the fish and see the wildlife and pick out every little detail and then replicate that in, in his paintings, it just makes us, uh, it makes us a special business because not a lot of people really put a lot of appreciation into the wildlife art. Raul was our first artist and um, he kind of cemented right then and there that uh, Laguna Madre clothing is going to be different. We're going to do something that, um, that, that we feel is right, something that, that we really like and something that represents our state and our fishery. And I feel like with Raul and all the other great wildlife artists that we work with, uh, we've really been able to accomplish that. So I'm just so thankful for Raul and for his family um, and for everything that he's done to show me what what the true what the true outdoors is like. He not only does that in his paintings, but he does that in his words and his actions. And you can tell he's such a steward of of wildlife and such a steward of the outdoors. He cares so much about it, and uh, he really wants to pass it along to the next generation uh, with his sons and with other people and and with his art. And I feel like that uh, that really embodies who we are as a business. We care about the fine details. We care about the little things. Uh, we care about the quality of things and uh, about what we're leaving behind uh, for our future generations. And we're able to really embody the spirit of Texas within our apparel and with our designs by working with such talented artists. I really want to thank everyone who supported this business, supported me, supported our artists, bought their prints and originals, bought our apparel. Uh, that means more than you guys know. We. We're so thankful for all of our customers and all the people that take care of us and show us support. That means so much to us. You know, seize the day. <laughs>